Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Overflow. In this video, we'll try to create a battery percentage notifier for our laptop and we'll use Python obviously for this purpose. So this would help us in giving us a battery percentage notification. This would tell us what uh, percentage of battery we have just left out and just uh, maybe when you're just running out of it, it would give us a uh, extra notification that hey, you're running out of battery, okay? Now, let's start building it. So first, we'll use for this purpose is, uh, we'll say import, and uh, we'll say psutil. Oops, sorry. Okay, we'll say import, and we'll say psutil. Uh, so what this psutil is, if you're un unaware of this psutil library, uh, look here, PSUtil is actually a, a PyPy project and this is a cross-platform library for process and system monitoring. So whenever we are trying to get the battery percentage or doing this kind of stuff uh, where we are running some process or we are, running, we are uh, trying to uh, get some system utilizations, right? It's just a battery is a system information, right? So we're just accessing this kind of things. We need a PSUtil library. So process and system utilities. Now, we uh, need PSUtil for that. So let's start uh, working on it. And as and when we'll just need la other libraries, we just keep, keep on adding those, okay? So we'll say, uh, let's get a, a object, say battery. And we'll say battery is, uh, we'll uh, use it as a PSUtil library. Uh, PSUtil objects. So what this would does, it would just uh, give us this battery information. So as the battery information, so it's a sensor battery. Okay. So this is the sensor battery, and this would just give us the battery information. We're just storing it in sensor. Uh, it is sensoring the battery and storing this as the battery in our code. So we'll say while uh, say true. Just running an infinite loop just to maintain, uh, to keep on getting again and again the um, battery notification. Let's say while true and so that this uh, keeps on going the, for the whole time, right? Now, we need to do what? We need the battery percentage, right? So say percent, so the battery percent is actually what? This battery object that we created, battery dot percent. Okay, so this battery dot percent is actually uh, give you the uh, percentage of the battery that we currently have, the, the current battery percentage we have, right? And then we will, we now need some uh, notification. We got our battery. Now we need to create some notification for notification we will use the library called plier i will show you what plier is import will say uh, plier um what's a plier okay let's understand what this plier library is so this plier library plier 2.0.0 is the current version so this is this gives you a platform in very independent wrapper for platform form dependent APIs. So we are trying to get notifications and this plier would actually help us to run this notification on any uh, platform, right? So uh, that's the information description of plier. So plier is a uh, platform independent API to use features commonly found on various platforms like uh, notably mobile ones in Python, okay? So there's how you can use to apply this. All informations are given here, okay? So we'll use plier for this purpose. Let's go back to the code. So here we need plier, okay? We need something from plier. So we need notifications, right? So notification is actually uh, uh, say a part of plier, okay? So we'll say from plier, say import, uh, notification from player we would import the notification so this would help us in our notification process now just use this uh, 
in our uh, function like in our program so we'll say notification and this notification would actually do would notify us and uh, this is notify us what this is notify us notify is a function so this will notify us few things say we need uh, a title we need to show something right the uh, we need to show uh, some data this will notify us say we'll say title title is basically uh, say we can say something like battery percentage so battery percentage and this is uh, the thing we're just writing out you can just give any other text or any other notifications you can use this for so we just go give a title I'll, I will show you where this title will be shown for you so this is the first thing we got the next thing we need the message so the message is uh, a message say a message can be uh, first in the message we need to show the percentage of the battery so we have a string we need to convert this to string since the percentage we have here is uh, in uh, say uh, it's in one second PLC what the problem it has okay we'll look that later so we are trying to get the percentage and then and then we need to say that this amount of percent of batteries left say uh, this percent battery remaining okay so that's a basic uh, thing that we're trying to invoke and we need to say give a timeout So we'll say timeout and this timeout is basically we'd say 10 seconds and timeout and after that out of this no, no, notify uh, statement less uh, the notify function okay, okay 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 I just missed something I need to give a extra comma for this because these are the function uh, we are writing it as a function parameter so same thing is the function, um, function parameters uh, my bad i just missed that part so uh, that was the notify we just we just wrote our notify now we need to keep on continuing this again and again right so say we need time so we'll need to uh, keep this running after some time right after some say, uh, specific time so we'll say sleep and uh, time loss okay time is a library that we need to import here import time and then we say time dot sleep say uh, this time dot sleep is actually takes in uh, milliseconds so say we no this takes in seconds so say after uh, two second we will get a notification it you can just vary the time as you wish and then uh let's i think we are done with it let's run this and see how this works for us okay let's run this it's time to run the program and understand how this works let's try to say continue to just kind of uh, continue this segment and let's also just uh, increase the time maybe it's too fast say 50 seconds we'll say run battery we'll see if it does anything let's run this again i don't think it has any problem but probably uh got stuck there okay so focus is focus assist is on 
look here this is how this is happening i don't know why uh it's just getting stopped probably because i'm just screen recording this and this is the happening here yeah look we just tried three times and for first it was 73 percentage at uh, that time and then you can see the percentage went down and yeah this is how this uh, notification works but this actually comes up uh, at the right here at this corner right here at this corner where i am uh, showing the mouse so this is the place where it actually comes up but i guess since i am just uh, screen recording it uh, this is not uh, something is stopping this from uh, giving a notification look this is actually coming okay this keeps on coming after that stipulated time i took it as uh, say uh, 50 seconds so after every a minute you can get this notification that's how it works okay so that's pretty fine so i hope you can understand how we can create this kind of uh, notifier or you can also use the scheduler feature of uh, your uh, windows that windows have so you can use that too to just schedule this kind of notifications or maybe you you can just use these things or uh, you can not only battery notification just deep dive into this uh, PSU till library and I'm sure you, you can find out something to work on maybe other kind of notifications time notification or some alarm notifications so that's this other stuff you can keep working on. So thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope this was a helpful and interesting video for you. Hope to see you soon in my next video.